Well, hello, and welcome to Geometry with Images and Animation. Today our focus is going to be on circles. Our image today was created in a free program on the internet called Paint.net, and you can find it at www.paint.net, and we use the Paint Bucket tool to take a coloring image and just paint in the various colors, and you can do that too to make your project fun and exciting and individualized and, and uh, you can share it with your friends when you finish it. And so let's go get into circles. So what is a circle? A circle is a geometric figure in which all points on the edge of the shape are equally distant from the center point. So if we take a line from the center from the clown's stomach, which is near the center of the circle, and draw it over to the edge of the circle, that will be uh, equal to another line. If we draw a second line, it will be the same, so it's equally distant from the center point. And if we add another one, it's the same. It's always the same from the center point to the edge, and that defines our circle. A circle is also two-dimensional. It has length and width, and if we uh, draw the length, it's always going to be the same. If we measure the length, it's always going to be the same as the width. So if our length is 2, for example, guess what? Our width will also be 2. They're always the same. Today we're going to look at perimeter and area. Remember we did the perimeter of a rectangle, if you saw our video on that one. And in the case of circles, the perimeter is called the circumference. So that's the term we're going to use today, circumference, and the circumference is the edge of the circle, represented here by the thick yellow line. And you can think of that as the ring, so it's the outer edge of the circle, of the shape, and that is our circumference. And if we look at area, the area is defined as the space inside the edge, or the ring, represented by our clown photo that we colored in. So that gives us our area. It's the space inside the ring. And we're also going to take a look at diameter and radius. The diameter is a line from one edge to the next, from edge to edge, through the center point. And that's the key. It has to go through the center point. So if we draw a line from one edge to the other through the clown's stomach, through the middle of the photo, the center point, that will give us our diameter. And guess what? If we draw another line, and another line, and another line. If we always go through the center point, that diameter will always be the same. Now the radius is the line from the center point to the edge, again from our clown's stomach to the edge, and that gives us our radius. And again, if we draw another line, that's going to be the same. And another one, that's always going to be, the radius will always be the same if we go from the center point to the edge of our circle. So let's look a look, take a look at the relationship between the diameter and the radius. The diameter is 2 times the radius, which is, can be written as d equals 2 times r. And if we look at it from the standpoint of the radius, the radius is equal to 1 half the diameter, which can be written as r equals 1 half of d. So this is our, our diameter and our radius. We need to remember that. That's very important as we go forward. There's another relationship that we need to know about, and that's the relationship between the diameter and the circumference. And that relationship, that ratio, is always the same. It's a constant, no matter how large or small the circle is. If we divide the diameter, if we divide the circumfer circumference by the diameter, it's always going to be the same. And thousands of years ago, mathematicians came up with a name for that constant, and they call it pi. Now pi, the relationship between the circumference and the diameter, is always 3.14. So they actually figured out what that is, what that relationship is, that ratio, and it's a number, 3.14 dot dot dot. It's a very long number, but for our purposes, we can use 3.14. So let's take a look at our circle on the left, the largest circle. And if we divided the circumference by the diameter, it would be pi, 3.14. And guess what? If we do the middle one, a smaller circle, that ratio is still the same, 3.14. And if we take a look at our smallest circle and divided the circumference by the diameter, it would be pi, 3.14. So no matter how large or small our circle is, pi is always the same. It's a constant. 
end. We can also, in cases, use uh, the symbol for pi, which here comes up here. So this is a Greek symbol for pi, the Greek letter pi, and you can use that symbol. You'll see it many times, but for our purposes, we're going to stick with the, with the letters. So let's take a look at our circumference. Remember, that is the edge or the ring. And the circumference is 2 times pi times r. That's our equation for the circumference. And if we take a look at our diameter, we're just going to give our diameter a value of 6. So remember, our diameter is, the radius is 1 half of the diameter. So if 1 half of 6 is 3. So that gives us a radius of 3. If our diameter is 6, our radius is 3. So let's apply it to our formula. The circumference is 2 times 3.14 times 3. That gives us a value of 18.84. So let's look at our area. This time we're going to solve for our area, remembering that our area is the space inside the ring. So the equation for the area is pi times r squared. This time we're going to square the radius. And again, let's take a, a diameter of 6. Remember that our radius is one half of the diameter, it's 3. Applying our formula, pi 3.14 times radius 3 squared gives us a value of 28.26. So that's our area. Now, if we take a look at our units, the circumference is really just a line. If we took that edge and stretched it out, it would just be a line. So the units, in, ca in the case of circumference, is in single units meters or feet or inches or whatever we're measuring. But in our area, we're squaring R, so our units will be squared. So it's going to be square meters or square inches or square feet or whatever units that we're looking at. So uh, that concludes our, our video, and uh, we'd like to hope that you'll join us on the next one. See you next time.